Welcome back to my channel and as you may know gardening season is in full swing and there's always something to be harvested because in your garden there are different times for different plants to be ready for harvesting so I'll take you on a little stroll with me this morning to see what I have going on in my garden and do a little bit of harvesting. I'm still harvesting asparagus. And now I'm going to head right on over to the garlic and see what's going on. And if you notice, there are some garlic scapes right here. And these were planted last fall. But I'm going to check the roots. I'm going to do a little peep test right here and see how the bulbs are doing. If it's bulbing up because I'm thinking that I should actually remove the scapes. Oh, wow. And leave it a little longer, probably about a couple weeks. It's bulbing up really nicely. I don't know if you can see it down there. I'll probably leave it in for another couple weeks. I prefer to harvest my garlic when the stalk has fallen over and the tops are showing signs of browning. There it is. So, I'm not going to disturb it, but I'm going to go ahead and harvest all the scapes because I don't want the energy to go into the scapes. I want them to go into the bulb instead. And these scapes, I can actually use it in my cooking. So it's a win-win. And now let's see how my elephant garlic is doing. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay. What's going on down here? It's a nice big bulb, but... Oh, look at that, guys. I'll just leave it alone. I know there's some yellow in here. The tips are yellowing, but I'll leave it for another couple weeks and see. I'm gonna try another one just to check it. Oh yeah. I know I'm not wearing any gloves. It's kind of compacted there, and I and I don't want to really dis disturb the root of it. I just want to see what's going on with the bulb. Okay, you worm. Look at this earthworm. Move over. I'm just going to go in and dig around just to see because I'm nosy. <laughs> there we go. It's a nice big size garlic in there. But I'll let it be, like I said, for another couple weeks. And then I'll harvest them because I do want to make sure I have enough to plant next year. And also to have some that I can use. I planted this November 1st, last year, 2022. So they're in here and they're almost ready. But for now, I'll grab my asparagus. Grab my garlic scapes. Well, so far this is a small but exciting harvest and it sure feels good to be able to grow my own food. And now we're gonna head right on over to the cherries to see what's going on. I have some cherries on the tree. As you can see right here, they are starting to blush, guys. Yeah, they are definitely starting to blush. The buds haven't seen them as yet. I don't have them protected. But we'll see what happens. Now we head on over to the strawberries. And guys, let's see what is going on. If we have any. Ooh, look at those strawberries. They are coming in. Wow. Look at this, guys. We can do a strawberry harvest today. I know they're not fully ripe, but guess what? They look delicious. And the birds or the squirrels or rabbits are not going to get to them before I do because even if they look like they're not fully ripe they are delicious they are full of flavor and I don't regret growing strawberries so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these 
Oh yeah, look at that. I am I am taking them all out because once you start harvesting them, they would send out more flowers and they will just be continuously bearing. I do have um, June bearing and also ever bearing strawberries here. So not all of the plants are gonna keep throwing out new flowers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest whatever I can because I know this will be a handful of deliciousness, full of flavor. What is better than being able to grow your own food and it's organic, you know what's in it, it's delicious and you feel more at ease knowing what you're putting into your body. Guys, listen, there's nothing better than this. So if you're not growing your own food and you are able to do so, you should just start. Just go ahead and make a start. And right here I've planted some onions in between the strawberry beds and that's just to deter any destructive bugs or worms or caterpillars that may be attracted to the strawberries and I did plant some sage in here the sage has been here for five years and look at the stem on this that's an old stem so now it's I cut it back and it regrows every year but yeah this is what's going on with my harvesting for today it is Monday Memorial Day and I'm out here just enjoying the weather in my garden doing a little walk around I'm still doing some planting actually some transplanting but here is my wonderful strawberry ha harvest like who would leave that behind for the birds they would definitely get it and there are different sizes right here but they pack show pack a punch full of flavor yep there you go if you're growing strawberries this season please leave in the comment section below on how they're doing thanks for watching